I'm Dave Wilhelm. This video discusses the earnings statement section of the Business 245 business plan. This section pulls together information from some of the previous sections we've worked on, especially the product and target market sections. The break-even analysis and the market research can determine whether the activity is a business or a hobby. Now, we look at earnings statements to determine just how good a business it might be. To develop an earnings statement, what we have to ask ourselves is what are the scenarios, which is fancy talk for what is it we're going to do? Selling stuff, paying rent, paying staff, making stuff, whatever we're doing in order to prepare financial statements, we need to convert it to dollars. And for the purposes of our business plan, we will simply be generating earning statements. We will not be doing cash flow statements or balance sheets or sources and uses of fund statements. Those are just too involved for the business plan that we're doing. There are entire courses on the financial accounting statements. The operation scenarios, ultimately we convert those to revenue and expenses for the earnings statement. There will be promotion, which may vary by quarter. Manufacturing, labor, and material, these are the variable costs. Selling and delivery will likely vary along with the labor and material costs. Getting supplies, hiring people, paying them, receiving payments, paying for space, phones, gas, electric. All these scenarios and activities we convert to dollars and put in the earning statements. Here's the earning statement revenue portion for each of the product versions. We want to indicate the quantity sold, the unit price or revenue, the gross revenue, which is quantity sold times unit price, the cost of goods sold, which is quantity sold times variable cost. And if we subtract the cost of goods sold from the gross revenue, we get the gross profit. We do this for product version one, two, and three, for quarters one, two, three, and four. That's the revenue part of the earnings statement. The expenses and earnings part starts with the total gross profit that was on the previous page, then sum the various expenses. Here I've got rent, utilities, salaries, promotion, attorney's fees, accountant fees, government fees, other one, other two. Sum those to get total expenses. Total gross profit minus total expenses equals operating earnings or earnings before interest and taxes. One looks backwards and the other looks forward because the next item is interest. Earnings before interest and taxes minus interest is earnings before taxes minus the taxes earnings after taxes. Because we're going to cover the earnings statement section requirements in such detail in both the template and the example, we won't even try to summarize them here. Just see the template in the example.